extremely fascinating the return of the cheetah in fact everything that you want to know about the return of the cheetah the positives and the apprehensions read the india today magazine the return of the cheetah and this actually tells you the history how there were thousands of cheetahs in the mughal emperor's court how subsequently they were hunted down how did the situation come to a time when the last three cheetahs the last three cheetahs were killed and by 1952 the cheetahs were officially extinct in india incidentally there was a very ambitious project that late prime minister indira gandhi spoke of indira gandhi spoke of a project where she wanted to bring in the asiatic cheetah from iran iran just has about 50 odd uh, cheetahs but unfortunately that didn't succeed because a regime change took place the shahi of, of iran was no longer there Sai then again this project started and the effort was made to bring these cheetahs from africa it lasted decades this conversation went to courts and rahul and i and pooja will talk about this in greater detail but what are some of the concerns concerns that must be addressed there are those who say that this is a project that's doomed to fail their points are that grasslands are virtually non existent in india the dietary shift now cheetahs hunt smaller prey impalas and cheetahs how will they get those cheetahs and chinkaras they'll they'll be reduced they'll be forced to hunt cheetahs and chinkaras in india no impalas here then the threat that actually comes from tigers and leopards and hyenas that hunt in pack and in packs and that is where when hyenas and wild dogs rahul when they hunt in packs that is where these cheetahs will become very very vulnerable then the apprehension of the man animal conflict what about wild dogs rahul are these genuine concerns or are these naysayers you know who will try and rain on every parade see gorab there are there is a scientific side to it and there is an attention side to it uh, that point of views are there there will be people there are conservationists there are experts who know that there are a lot of pitfalls ahead i think that only the easier part is going to be get done today as a gift to prime minister narendra modi the fact is the first one very important is that the asiatic cheetah and the african cheetah their separation their genetic separation is now over 67000 years that means they have genetically separated they are different it can't be that uh, africans Uh, cheetah can live easily here like okay. for example the asiatic and uh, african lions okay. are now a lack years away rahul the first live visuals are now coming in from on board from on board the aircraft now these cheetahs are finally on ground and this would be a, a shift for them in weather in temperature this 10 hour long flight then the helicopter journey this this would be some some amount of trauma for yes, the for the uh, beast they will be under a lot of stress remember they are being prepared interestingly in uh, from where they are coming the temperatures are ranging between 7 degrees to 22 degrees mm -hmm. because it's uh, below the tropics so it's winter time there uh, yeah it's one of the most beautiful weather right now in fact in namibia whereas they will be coming into palpur kuno which is a very dry area and it will be 25 and above so there will be a bit of a temperature shock also and that's why it will be a very slow release for them okay there will be uh, there will be game release for them that animals will be released so that they can hunt but it will be in a very very controlled there is going to be no hot release hot release means that you're put in push inside somewhere and asked to fend for yourself 